What's going on YouTube? Sam, I'm back with another figure review, and today we're going to be taking a look at a vehicle. This is the first vehicle I think that we've gotten by NECA, um, and this is based off of the Predator figures. Um, for, for the Predator figures, we're going to be taking a look at the Predator. It says the Ultimate Alien Hunter Blade Fighter with capturing jaw and shooting missile. So this is something that's really cool. It's got that kind of like retro vibe style box uh, image to it. And that picture right there, the Predator, looks really cool. you got to see it in person to really appreciate this. Um, I picked up another... Uh, or I picked up another Alien Hunter Predator, even though I did a review on him, I actually gave my other one away, so I can do the review with him. I'm guessing that's the figure that goes with him. But uh, you look right here, it shows you an image of the uh, of the figure. Yeah, it is the one that goes with him. So you can see right there how, the, how you display the Predator figure. It says the Ultimate Alien Hunter. And then if we turn this box this way, the packaging is really nice on this guy. So if you guys are men on card collectors, it's really cool, but you can see exactly what you can do with you know, displaying this, it has that old school like Kenner um, feel to it. And then there's a little read up right here. I'll zoom in on that little read up here. I'll pick the camera up and you guys can pause right there if you really want to pause and take a little read on that. And then it has just a lot of little like, um, you know, reading, you know, stuff right there if you want to you know, pause and read that, but um, yeah, it says over here over two feet in length when fully assembled. So there's going to be some assembly required, I'm guessing, but it's a fairly large box. So what we're going to do is take this bad boy out and see how cool this vehicle really is. Stay tuned, guys. So here is the uh, vehicle fully assembled outside of packaging. It did require some assembly, not too much, like nothing too hectic, but um, there is some instructions that it does come with right here. You got like a uh, kind of like a blueprint right here. It shows you all the weapons where you can store everything because the cannons that are attached to this, you can put in different uh, pieces. You can see right there. So it's pretty cool how the way this looks. And then there's the front, which tells you how to put everything together. And there is a uh, adhesive. It says remove adhesive cover from foam cushioning and align with the hanging hole before mounting on the wall because you can mount this on a wall. So that's that right there. It comes with a little adhesive thing inside of the uh, the, the little baggie that you get with the instructions. But um, I'll show you really quick. You can see it's right on here. Yeah, so it comes with a lot of parts, man. I mean, I mean, as far as the boxes inside, there's a lot of little box pieces that come into this. So be prepared to take out some twisty ties and um, some uh, just have a blade next to you. But um, there's the, the, the end of the figure. So I'll zoom in as much as I can and then I'll pan through so you guys can get a look at the detailing on this. But then I'll do, I'll do a closer detailed look at it. But you can see it's got really cool um, paint applications and the sculpting on it's very nice. But this is, I'm going to tell you guys right now, it feels very, very fragile. So be careful with this. Do not force it too much because we all know how NECA is and I'm afraid this thing is probably going to going to break on you. So I'm going to lift it here and show you guys um, some just some looks. Here's inside the uh, the cockpit. I'm going to see if this will focus in so you guys can take a look inside and see exactly what it is that the Predator is looking at as he's driving. You can see right there. It looks pretty cool. You can see all the control panels and everything. There is little um, handles right here which have articulation. And there's something right here in the center, not sure what that's for, but the control panel looks great. And then there's another little, um, uh, what do you call it, like a, I forgot the name, uh, a handle, like a little steering wheel, if you will. You can see that looks pretty good. And then there's the actual cockpit, there's the seat where he sits. Um, and then there's some of the, the flooring. You can see all the little details there. And again, the paint application on this is very, very nice. So this is a top view that we're looking at. And you got some Predator riding on each side of the wings. So on the left side, you can see right there, he's got some riding there. And then on the right side as well, you can see here, very good. There's the top right here. I'm holding it by its uh, by the tip right there. It's got this little like tip right there at the end, which looks pretty cool. And I'll turn this around so you can see the bottom side of the actual ship. And then these here, it has little clamps. So like for instance, right here, this gun that, that's on the side, this huge gun and it has a little spear. This, the weapons can be um, attached right here. So for instance, I have this one right here at the bottom because he comes with like two different guns. It's up to you if you want to store it on here because from what I can tell, 
The Predator can't hold this, so we'll look at this in a second. So it has these little clamps right there at the bottom in case you want to store the weapons there, and it's got some little like vents. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so we get a close look at the, um, at the bottom of the ship. So you can see I'm just going through it, and there you go, we just keep on cruising down. And then here's the little like claw pieces if you want to catch a catch an alien. I'll show you that what exactly that does there in a second. But that's the um, the bottom view of the ship, and then this is where you would mount it on the wall if you really you know wanted to do that. And then here's a good looking uh, side view right here. There's the big old gun right there on the left. It's really nice. And then here's a top view of the little uh, alien catcher or whatever he wants to catch, and he has little guns right here on the front so you can see he has like little cannons right here and they are articulated you can you know rotate them in and out they go up and down he has them on both sides he's got one right here on the left as well it's right here but like look at the coloring like the paint applications on here just very nice that the the paint that they use on here is just really really clean i don't know if i showed you guys a back shot of this you can see the little like Back right here, they got some like the little, I uh, guessing where like the rocket boosters are. See right there. So that's a back shot of this, very very clean. And then for as far as um him when he wants to grab an alien, I thought I broke this when I did this. So what you do is you spread this piece apart right here. See it opens up. So I'll do this. I'll show you guys a full look. So this just opens like this, and you can capture an alien <laughs> if you really wanted to but it is a fairly long ship but it's very very cool and um, let me turn this around here turn this this way and I'll show you what he looks like with a predator as well the um, the little hinged cockpit does open up so you just clamp this in and you just open this like that it's got spikes right there at the top and you'll show you a close-up on the um, the paint on it. it looks really good and the gun I was going to show you guys right here, this one here just pegs in into the side right here. It's got a little like a, a peg right there. Let's get this out of the way. And I'll show you the gun so you can see a really big gun. See, it has a little handle right there. So if the Predator wanted to hold on to this, there it is right there. And then there's a spear. And it has a shooting, um, an action feature, like a shooting little action figure right, uh, feature. The handle has a little bit of articulation too, but don't force it too much. You might break it, but it looks pretty good. And to shoot the little missile, there is this little thing right here, this little black button. So you're going to push it, and I'll show you how far it goes. So it, it's got a really strong effect to it. And the spear itself is very long. You can see right here. And there's the, uh, there's the tip of that. It's very nice. Losing focus. It's a little sharp too, so be careful with it. Probably might break too, but this does shoot very well. So it's really cool that we got this little like extra feature with it, you know, to allow it to actually shoot. So that's really cool. But again, you can just peg this right on here. Be careful you don't break the peg off. It's very, very sensitive. So just be careful, but once you peg it in, you can move it around and stuff. So here's a size comparison. You can see the um, Predator with his vehicle right here. So this is the Predator that goes with the vehicle. And in case you're wondering which one it is, let me get the name of this guy, because I forget all the names of all these guys. It's the Ultimate Alien Predator Hunter. So it's this one right here, in case you're wondering which Predator goes with the vehicle. So it'll say the name on the on the package as well of the box of the actual vehicle. But you can see it is a fairly long um, little vehicle that he does come with. I'm going to show you what he looks like displayed inside now. I think I'm losing focus on here. So I want to show you guys something cool that's um, that they added to this when you put the Predator in here. I don't have them like fully sitting in there right. You know, I just kind of put it in half fast just so you guys can see. But he does sit in there really nice. Uh, nice. But he has these little clamps right here on his legs. So when you put the figure in, it'll keep them on their sturdy. You can see there's like little clamps right there. They're around his um, lower legs, like almost around the ankles. So they'll help him stay in place. So that's a very, very nice touch that they did with this. But I love the way this looks. I mean, look at the front of this thing. It has so many cool little, like just details overall. This is just a beautiful piece. I am so happy that um, NECA, you know, made a ship like this for us, just giving us, you know, vehicles and the cool thing that you can mount this on the, on the wall. Just gonna give you guys a quick little bird's eye view. 
of the vehicle again, just so you can see the top and everything, in case I didn't go everything too well, and you can see all the little cool little details that this uh, vehicle does, you know, bring to you. So it is a little bit pricey, but you know, it's you're gonna want to get it if you're a alien or alien and predators fan, just because. I mean, it's a vehicle. You know, you want to display your your predators, the vehicles. You want to have them, you know, just in some really cool poses and you know, fighting their aliens in this cool little trap thingy right here for the the claw for the to catch the aliens is very very nice. And there you have it, guys. There's my review today. We're taking a look at the NECA. This is the vehicle. This is the Predator Blade Fighter with capture jaw and shooting missile. So this is for the um, Ultimate Alien Hunter Predator. I definitely recommend you guys check this out. Yeah, head over to Frank and Sons. This is where I picked this up. It's gonna cost you a pretty penny. I'm gonna say between 80 to 100 dollars, but it's worth it. I mean, you can see the size of this thing. It's got a lot of really cool details. It has a as a shooting missile, which um, actually works and it shoots pretty far. It's not like cheap or anything. It's got the opening little clamps right here, and just a bunch of other little cool little features you have to look at in person to really go over it or to really um, see how cool this really is. The paint applications is good. The sculpt's good. Be very careful with it because it does feel very uh, fragile. So don't drop it and don't bend any pieces too much because this will break easy. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think about the figure or the vehicle. Also, check out my other reviews. Please subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed. Drop a comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. We'll see you guys later. Take care.